You know, in the end, let's for us never forget. Never forget. It's our members who make us who we are. It's our members that make our leadership possible. This union doesn't belong to me. Doesn't belong to Lynn Williams. It didn't belong to Boyd Young. Doesn't belong to this executive board. Doesn't belong to the staff. This union belongs to the members. And it belongs to the movement for social and economic justice. And we are but the custodians of an unmatchable history and a future that needs us badly. Because of them, we're able to get up every morning and know that we're doing some of the most honorable work in the world. Because of those members, we can and we must wake up every day, put our shoulders back, hold our heads high, and come forward and fight. Never bow, never bend, and never break. We'll always then combine back, able to forge the gains that are so badly needed, and to build on the past wonderful successes of this great union. That undying spirit, sisters and brothers, is why I'm proud to be one of you, and why I'm so humbled to serve another term as your president. A pride that will enrich my life long after I've gone. And someone else is sitting in the presidential chair. A chair that Phil Murray, David J. McDonald, I.W. Abel, Lloyd McBride, Lynn Williams, George Becker, and Boyd Young have filled so honorably. I hope I can walk a few more years in the shoes that they've filled with the same distinction they nourished and the spirit that has kept our union alive and well. For it is that undying spirit of solidarity, more than the economic report or any politician's promise, that should give us hope that the days ahead will be much brighter. It's what renews us and keeps us working to brighten the prospects for our children and our grandchildren and eventually their children and the future generations that will come back and look upon our struggles. It's the resolve that enlarges that flickering light that I talked about earlier. That flickering light that can be so faintly seen in that tunnel we're now calling the economy. It will be us to, that are responsible for making that light brighter. And it will be us for turning that light into the beacon and the beacon of hope that would lead not only this union and this generation, but future generations to economic and social security. So sisters and brothers, keep that spirit alive. And once again, we'll lead our members through these dark hours to a brighter and more prosperous day. Solidarity forever. Thank you very much.